Mycelium is an aspect of the world that has always been present. It's been here on Earth for hundreds of millions of years. It actually binds together everything that's organic that we know about. I began by making architectural miniatures. And then to get bigger, I started to imagine them as bricks, uh, so you could join them together to make almost any, any kind of structure that you could imagine. When I saw the range of materials that Phil had made with mycelium, it was just amazing. Phil was able to cast sculptures, um, create objects, create furniture, create hard materials and soft materials. After Sophia and I incorporated Microworks, we felt that we had to find somebody who could help us to get to that next level of our industrial output. And so that was Matt. When I met Phil for the first time, I was struck by the long history he had with the material. He had toiled away for 20 years in arriving at Reishi and building this incredible biomaterial that other material scientists had failed at making. Like how carbon can be both graphite and diamond, depending on the process, Phil was able to unlock some of the nuances of mycelium to engineer it into something that has higher quality, is uh, more durable, and feels more alive. We had at that point created a prototype and we had a material that we knew could become a product and Matt was the materials entrepreneur that we needed to scale it. We've managed to complement Phil and his artistic team with a team that has an enormous amount of experience in bringing new materials to market. Engineers with backgrounds in biomaterials, material scientists from NASA, executives and engineers who have scaled companies in indoor agriculture, built factories. Together, I think the Microworks team is a very unique group of people that bridge the gap between art, science, and manufacturing. We've learned about the chemical engineering of leather. We've learned about the processing of it, of how it gets sewn, molded, formed. Every step of the process to make reishi is a carefully choreographed ritual. The body's involved, the hands are involved, decision-making is involved. Reishi is the epitome of where you see the excellence in our craft. Designers are looking for something that is neither animal nor plastic, but has the quality, the sensuality, and the engineerability that allow them to make new designs. For the designers, the really exciting thing is that they can be part of the quality process as we're making the material. Uh, so that we can actually engineer the material and in very short feedback loops actually improve the material. I'm most excited about how we can work with our design partners to develop a new way of manufacturing this entirely new category of material. Reishi carries in it the beauty of nature and also a deep history of tradition and possibilities for the future. It's an incredible span of practices and ideas in one beautiful form. It's, it's almost like electricity. It's something that's present everywhere. Um, and we've noticed it in different forms, but only recently have we come to appreciate it for what it is in itself. I saw this material when it was a scrap of an idea coming out of Phil's art studio. And now I'm seeing these beautiful sheets that are finished in a way that you only expect, you know, the finest luxury leather to have which makes us feel really proud and also that the possibilities are endless.